Hi, Angelina. Uh, my name is Art, and welcome to Village People Magazine. How are you doing? Hi, Art. I'm doing fine, po. Um, I'm doing fine, safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm doing fine, safe from the pandemic, just at home, po. Oh, that's How good. That po? that's very good. Uh, I'm good, also. I'm glad that you're safe and the whole of your family. It's a difficult thing right now. It's the difficult situation we're in. <laughs> So, uh, my first question is, so this will be for, for the cover of uh, Village People. And, of course, congratulations. I can see you in every magazine. <laughs> well, well, I'm pretty sure a lot of magazines will also cover you. But right now, um, with Village People, uh, thank you for, for gracing us and for giving us this opportunity to cover you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You know what we've been wanting to do this because because uh, we heard your music and yung ganyan ang galing galing mo. <laughs> so uh, I'm curious. Um, I, I know that you want to focus now in show business. Um, but with your music, because I'm curious, who's your musical influences? Because cruises are very. Um, just to let you know, and I'm pretty sure you know, your titas, your mom, your you you guys are very famous in in terms of music. So, who's your musical influences? I'm curious. Um. Well, I look up to my mom and to my wow. titas. Of course, like Tita Donna, Tita mm-hmm. Geneva, my titas who sing. I really look up to them. But my musical influences would have to be um, Daniel Caesar, Gene Eichel. Mm-hmm. That's what I usually listen to, and that's um, the type of music I want to go for. Hopefully, in the future. Ah, I see. I'm curious. Do you also write music, write songs? Do you do that? Um, I've been I've been experimenting, for especially now during the pandemic. But the music I've released so far, um, I haven't written. It's um written by the talented writers of Universal Records. Wow, I see. Because you can easily be the Taylor Swift of the Philippines. <laughs> you know? Because <laughs> of your looks and all and your talent. <laughs> oh, you, Bo. I'm so flattered. I feel like, you know, the Taylor Swift of the Philippines would have to be my youngest sister, Cheska, because she's the one who loves Taylor Swift. And really? she also likes making songs. She <laughs> <laughs> will pull your hair if everybody... <laughs> We'll tag you as this. <laughs> well, anyway, um, let's focus on your career as as an actress. Um, so you now have your sitcom, Jan and Ellen, with TV Five. Congratulations! I'm pretty sure it will be big <laughs> someday. How was it feel like since it's your first well, acting gig? Um, it being my first acting day, the first po, sobrang nervous po po nung una, especially because I don't fully master Tagalog yet. Mm-hmm. And so I asked the, my mom, you know, how how can I prepare? What mm-hmm. should I, you know, practice? What should I work on? Um, and she tells me to, of course, aside from mastering my Tagalog, um, when it comes to acting, um, you know, working on your craft, I, I should also work my emotions to practice my lines in front of the mirror as much as possible. Yun po. Wow, that's a sound advice coming from your mom. <laughs> she, uh, she's been doing that for so long. Um, so, I'm curious because those people I've talked to, especially those na galing sa mga celebrity clans, ganyan, ganyan, they're having a difficult time at first. Um, have you had the same experience? Um, by difficult time, Paul, what do you mean? Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, I'll rephrase it. Because I'm pretty sure that um, the opportunities were there. You're so beautiful and you can easily tap the industry. Um, what I meant was, was there any pressure outside? Of course, they are very famous. They are known actresses, uh, actors and actresses, your mom and your dad are. So um, internally, did you have that pressure to, ah, I have this really good, ganyan, ganyan, mga ganan? Um, yes, of course, I did experience pressure, especially when 
I just started entering showbiz because mm-hmm. when I started to enter showbiz slowly, I was still 15. Po. Wow. So I was really young. <laughs> um, everything was very new to me. Um, the only reason, like the only things I know about showbiz was through my mom. Mm-hmm. I would see her work things behind the scenes and mm-hmm. all and that as well. But that's when I was super young. Po po. But yeah, I was super pressured because um, like what my mom said, there's a lot of talented people out there. She tells me, agree. To, yeah, always master, master what I do. Um, work on my singing, work on my Tagalog, because um, like what she said, there are a lot of talented people out there. I'm, I'm easily like replaceable, but like that's the reality of it. That's the reality of showbiz, and that I should, if I want, if I want what I, you know, if I want to really pursue this. I should really work hard for it, Bo. And just because I'm the anak of an artista, I don't, I don't want to fully take advantage of it. I also want to pave my own path. I want to carve my own path as well, and really, genuinely work hard for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that's good, no. Uh, it's a great thing, especially getting those advices from people who have experienced it. And that's a reality. So, sobrang daming actors and actresses. And I think in every endeavor, that's also a very good advice to all of your fans and to all the people who are listening to you that we really have to work on things, especially if you want it. Wow. Ganda naman ang mga sinishare mo. <laughs> all right. So... Um, I'm curious also because because I think a lot of young girls and a lot of um, young women will will relate to you. Na it's difficult right now, especially everything is virtual, ganyan, and you also you are also juggling two things: um, the celebrity world and so was studying. You're you're studying um, with DLSU, right? Animal yeah. Lasal. <laughs> DS marketing po sa mm-hmm. DLSU. It's my first year po. Sa DLSU. Yes. All right. Um, so, how was it like? So, how do you manage your time? Um, when it comes to time management, I always make sure to set my priorities straight. So, for now, po, since I haven't graduated college, that will always be my first priority. And then wow. my work. Okay. Because... Uh, my mom has always taught me to always set my set school as my number one priority, and to of course um, focus on that muna, because mm-hmm. you know um, the celebrity, the showbiz industry, the, they'll just they'll be there long. But my mm-hmm. school, I just focus on because I feel like you know that's what's really important right now. To you know, of course, to graduate, to have a degree. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's a good, even though I want to pursue showbiz, if I want to pursue being an actress or a singer, it's good to, you know, have a backup plan as well. That's true. Um, are, are you not afraid? Uh, just like what you said earlier, of course, a lot of people are, are there wanting your place, to, to be in your place. Uh, are you not afraid of... Of like, nako if if I choose my studies, baka mawala tong opportunities na to. How do you handle those things? Um, how I handle those things? Um, I just when it comes to school, as a pop, then you have a uh, um someone inquired for me like as a guest thing. I don't mind attending as long as it doesn't land on an important day. I see. Okay. So, yeah. If it lands on a day where I have a quiz, I have a test, or I have a group presentation, uh-huh. I make sure not to tell them to maybe move it to another day where mm. I have nothing going on. Mm. Wow, that's nice. So in terms naman of difficulties, so what are the biggest challenges that you have? Studying and working... I'm pretty sure <laughs> there are a lot. There are some. <laughs> what What do you think are the challenges that you're having? Well, the challenges when it comes to working, well, obviously I feel very pressured. I have um, people's expectations of me are very I agree. high. Of my two parents, of course, <laughs> for them being 
really out there them them being you know successful and known i have to live up to the people's expectations and of course that made me kind of nervous kind of pressured but then i didn't let the pressure get to me anymore after you know after i started getting used to it or when i got sanay to it book i started to you know focus on myself focus on um what i have to work on focus on my craft instead of um focusing on what people expect from me what they have to say about me instead um i work on myself that's true i agree well, coming from the outside in in a fan's perspective or to someone who's yeah maybe in the inside also because I, i do hair styling but yeah, uh, i i think that's the best thing that you can do you know to focus on yourself because you can't that is uncontrollable yung yung expectation people's expectations of course a lot of people um we can, can always pressure you na parang ah, it's your mom's like that your dad is like that but of course um it's your time now um of course they will always be timeless and they will always be known but um this is your opportunity and regardless kung ano sabi nila you're starting and lahat naman ng tao when they're starting of course they have to adapt to everything and of course in time you you will be better in your craft and i'm pretty sure that you're a hard worker so just focus on yourself focus on developing your ano nag life coach <laughs> no no kasi kasi um i think that can be a struggle to to a lot of girls especially coming from a family of known celebrities diba i'm pretty sure you're having that and <laughs> um itong janet I go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, and of course, being the panganay, um, mm. I'm the first in the family of you know the three of us, three daughters to experience mm-hmm. these things. So, kaya I, I felt very pressured. You know, my sisters looking up to me. Would I be the first daughter to experience these types of things? You know, entering showbiz. Kaya po, um, I got kind of nervous also because what if my mom, you know, expects more from me as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like the pressure got to me before when I was young, but now not so much anymore. Especially mm-hmm. now that you know, I'm reassured and to just be myself, to take things day by day, and to work on myself. As well. Wow. Um. A good thing, no. Nakakato. Uh. I, I didn't expect your mom to be like that. She's very handsome. Kasi parang I, I think your mom looks like very, very young. <laughs> parang alam mo yun. <laughs> parang ang weird. And you you have two beautiful siblings. Parang I've seen them, Sam, and the other girl. I can't remember her name. Um, Chelsea? Chelsea? Cheska? <laughs> Yeah. Um ayun nga. She's very hands-on and I think she's very supportive of you, no? Ang ganda, hindi kanya pinepressure. The ano yun, very good advice to other parents as well. That's like modern parenting na. <laughs> Kasi 'di ba, parang with other endeavors, parang some some children are experiencing oh maganito ka maganyan ka you have to be like this uh, you have to be a lawyer ganyan kasi your titos are like that diba and and of course pag ikaw you're very famous some people will think na oh baka si Angelina pina pressure ganyan ganyan and i think your mom doesn't no and she wants you to prioritize pa nga your schooling that's a good thing Ayon. So let's discuss about your John and Ellen, cause cause we're curious. So um, how was the experience like? Uh, ano ba yung makikita namin sa John and Ellen? What can we see? What do we? What well, can we expect from that sitcom? Well, John and Ellen is uh, a family sitcom. Mm-hmm. It's very light. So everyone on set is really having fun, talaga. Um, you know, see Tito John and Tito Long, they always love to make ad libs, and it would always come out super fun and super funny. Um, everyone on set is always really happy, and yeah, they're like a family to me. I see. That's nice. Uh, everybody supportive, no? That's a good thing. Um, ikaw. Within yourself, what's your self-discovery? Of course, sabi mga you're still adapting to 
mostly speaking in Tagalog kasi syempre this is national TV and parang it's hard parang James Street, 'di ba? Parang at first diba he's having hard time kasi mm-hmm. yeah. Um so what's your self discovery so far? My self discovery so far But in doing the sitcom. Um, well, in doing the sitcom. Um the more I work with them, the more we tape, I get comfortable with people speaking Tagalog and acting. Wow. So I guess, you know, I'm also grateful that they, they offered this to me. I'm super grateful because, of course, you know, it's a pandemic. Not much people mm-hmm. get to have the op- chance to work. So mm-hmm. I was super grateful when I was offered this. And, you know, at the same time, they know that I don't. I don't speak the Tagalog much, and so I was super. <laughs> I was super glad. That I was so thankful. So, when I finally, when I started, you know, working na po, I really, I really started to work hard on my Tagalog po, especially mm-hmm. when it comes to scripts, script reading. I make sure na I take it seriously as well. And I think, uh, naman speaking in Tagalog, it's just repetition, de ba? Parang um, just always talking in that language. So, for example, in Filipino, diba? And I'm pretty sure um, you, you'll get used to it. And Curtis, right before, she can't speak Tagalog much, but right now, diba? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I know my environment po. Kaya I have a hard time speaking Tagalog. It's because everyone at home, my sisters especially, probably <laughs> <laughs> sila, they speak like English, especially yung bunso po. She uh-uh. loves to read books. English is very deep and like deep, <laughs> deep work. So yeah, sometimes I get confused. <laughs> so it's very different because in the um the environment of John and Ellen, it's much easier for me to speak Tagalog because everyone there speaks Tagalog. That's nice. That's good to know. I see. So um, what else? All right, I I'd like to talk about you being in school. All right. So, of course, you're a celebrity. A lot of people look up to you. Um, did you experience, like, any sort of stalking or a lot of people oh, can will say harsh criticisms on you? Did, did you experience that? Well, um, I entered college um, when online schooling has begun already. So, I wasn't able to experience face to face yet for college, but if for high school, if you're asking me if I have experienced stalking, hindi naman po for high school. But for um, as for criticisms, I guess I've experienced that um, mm-hmm. during my college, my first year of college, just last term actually, nagkaroon po ng issue um, sa co- to my college's freedom wall. Um, someone submitted the blind item and I have a big feeling it was about me or I feel uh-huh. like you know it was towards me because then um it um it had a lot of engagement a lot of people saw it a lot of likes and plenty of comments mentioned me and the brand because they um the post mentioned my brand as well people uh-huh. mentioning the brand and my name wow. <laughs> I was so shocked. I wasn't. I was just keeping quiet, you know, just trying to balance my work in school. So when I saw that, I was like, "Huh?" <laughs> the the blind item criticized me for being a freeloader. So I was super shocked because even my friends were super shocked too, because they know me as someone who's really hardworking, and I'm not the type to be a freeload freeloader because I never was. Even my uh-huh. high school, my high school friends, my classmates, um. Most of the time, nanga, I, I help mostly. So, ano, it was really a shock to me when that um, circulated online, especially on Facebook, and that it even, you know, it arrived to um, students from other schools that even my best friend, she goes to another different school. She doesn't go to DLSU. Um, her friend asked her about it, and then she asked me about it, and that's how I knew about that whole thing. Uh-huh. I was super shocked, and when that was brought upon to me, when I read the comments, they were already mentioning my name. Yeah, I 
took it upon myself to message all my past group mates and present group mates um, to DLSU that if I lacked anything as a group mate, you know, I, mm-hmm. I made sure to ask them talaga because I wanted to make sure because baka, baka, baka I really did lack as a group mate. So I made sure talaga. And none of them, none of them, you all said like, what, you were a good group mate. You did um your tasks that was assigned to you. Kaya, I was 100% sure that whoever posted that, I don't think that person even was my group mate or even goes to that school. Because anyone could submit to um, freedom. Wala. That's the thing. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I guess I was a bit affected because um, I read the comments and mm-hmm. some were already making fun of me. Um, they were they were already, um, I don't know, they were kind of mocking me already. And to, you know, to have the feeling that these people are the the same people I go to school with is kind of you know um it affected me um badly you mm-hmm. know I wasn't able to experience a college life face to face and this is already my um experience online but yeah um I kind of got affected by it but my friends were able to back me up naman saying that you know you know yourself you know you're, you know yourself best and we know you as long as you know it isn't true don't let it affect you don't let those people what they say about you affect you because you know the truth and you know what you did and that's true because I know that I as a student I'm doing my best and I'm not I'm not a freeloader um, and yun lang po, um, I just got sad because knowing the people some of the people I go to school with um, would go out of their way to comment such things and to mock me. But yeah, um, yeah, I got kind of sad, but that's all in the past. I got over it and I'm just, you know, working on myself, working on my studies, and I'll just prove them wrong. <laughs> Wow, that's a good thing. Uh, ang galing mo siya hinandle. Um, you were able to handle it really well. And as, siguro with with all the celebrities, it's common um, that you will get those things, especially when you you're you're very successful now. And when you become bigger, pa eventually, naman um, infinite possibilities. So a lot of people can say a lot of things about you, de ba? Pero Sabi nga nila, parang I, I've read this um, somewhere that the most important comments are those comments from the people that you love. That's what matters. Because people that you don't know you can easily judge you. But those who love you won't. Diba? That's true. Don't mind it. Diba? Parang ayun nga. And I'm sure marami pa yan. Kasi syempre, Ang ganda ganda mo, and of course, um, some some will be pitted against you, ganyan, de ba? It's it's such a harsh world. Ayon. Can't please everyone, talaga to. Mm-hmm. So sabi mga you were talking about um your mom telling you to work hard and to focus your studies. Aside from that, what do you think is the biggest advice from your mom that you will live on? The biggest advice would have to be, aside from working hard, it would have to be for um to really fight for um what I want um in terms of you know um in terms of like generally speaking you know um I shouldn't let people control me so much and that mm-hmm. I should um never lose I should never let that um get to me and you know. Um, reach the point na parang what I'm doing isn't genuine anymore. Na parang um, I'm not doing this for myself. Kaya po, she told me to, you know, always do things. Make sure the things that I'm doing, I still want to do them. Not because people tell me to do them. And That's I really true. Put it hard, you know, to know what I want and to let people know what I want as well. Wow, that's true. Because it's hard to say no, no? Especially you're a celebrity. Yeah. Parang, ayaw mo, You don't want to offend other people, diba? Parang, yeah, that's a very nice advice, no? Galing-galing ni Sunshine. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> she's a very Not good a manager now. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi she, I, I feel like she experienced it also and she's passing on the, the knowledge na siya natutunan niya na, kasi sometimes it's you, you don't get it from some, somewhere else parang you really experience that and I, I think that's good also that you have a very protective mom who, who wants the best for you ang ganda no, no? fight for what you want oh, wow it, it was very nice talking to you I've learned a lot and well. I've learned so much about you thank you for for letting us um, know who you are more and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would like to know more of you kasi nakikita namin your music, your beauty and your talent um, of course uh, you want um, people would like to relate from you Ayan. thank you so much for this time Angelina for having me fun for the questions I had a fun time talking about me, that me too so what's your message to your fans ito last na what's your message to your fans and to people who believe in you and to those people who are supporting you um, hello my little angels and Angelina's crew know that I am so thankful and grateful to have you and um, I know I keep saying this but I wouldn't be here without you guys. I wouldn't be where I am without you guys. And I'll always forever be grateful for that. And I love you. Yeah, thank you so much. Ayun, I had fun. I can't wait for your magazine cover. I, I think it's going to be next week. <laughs> <laughs> and me too I'm excited Ayun. thank you thank you for today I know you still have an interview later <laughs> yeah ayan. thank you see you soon again bye Chica